In today's financial segment, we delve into the intricate world of high-yield energy stocks, unveiling two compelling opportunities to consider and one that warrants caution. While heavyweights such as Chevron and Enbridge beckon with their alluring prospects, it is crucial to exercise prudence, for some high-yield energy stocks may not be as they initially appear, including the case of Devon Energy. Join me as we unravel the reasons why dividend investors may want to steer clear of Devon, but should consider stockpiling shares of Chevron and Enbridge. There's nothing wrong with Devon Energy's dividend policy, asserting that it's the most effective way to reward shareholders when oil prices are soaring. However, the caveat lies in the fact that it also mandates investors to share the pain when oil prices are low. Devon Energy adheres to a variable dividend policy intrinsically tethered to the company's financial performance. As an upstream oil and natural gas producer, Devon Energy's top and bottom lines are directly intertwined with the highly volatile price of energy commodities. Investors directly reap the benefits when oil prices are elevated through higher dividends and directly suffer when oil prices plummet as the dividend undergoes a commensurate reduction. For instance, in the year 2022, the quarterly dividend escalated from $1 per share to a zenith of $1.55. More recently, Devon Energy has adroitly pivoted its model, augmenting its utilization of stock buybacks as a means to return value to investors. The second quarter 2024 dividend stood at a mere 35 cents per share, a descent from 44 cents in the first quarter. A more prudent choice for most investors would be Chevron. The company is an integrated energy major, which translates to a globally diversified business spanning upstream drilling, midstream pipelines, and downstream chemicals and refining. Although energy prices remain the predominant driver of performance, its broad exposure to the energy sector helps to mitigate the industry's inherent peaks and troughs. Of paramount importance for the dividend is Chevron's rock-solid balance sheet. This bestows upon the company the flexibility to assume debt during energy downturns, thereby enabling it to buttress its business and dividend. At this juncture, Chevron has increased its dividend annually for an impressive 37 consecutive years. That's a rather incredible feat given the monumental price swings oil has undergone over just the past few years. Chevron's dividend yield currently hovers around 4%. While attractive relative to the broader market, value investors might want to exercise patience until Wall Street throws the baby out with the bathwater during the next energy downturn. Turning our attention to Enbridge, we encounter a large North American energy company, but one that is laser-focused on the midstream segment of the industry. This translates to ownership of assets such as pipelines, storage, and transportation infrastructure. Enbridge is unique in that it also owns natural gas utility and renewable power assets. However, the paramount narrative is that all of Enbridge's assets are driven by fees, contracts, or regulator-assigned rates. Thus, unlike Chevron and Devon, energy prices are not a significant factor in Enbridge's financial performance. And unlike those two energy producers, Enbridge's cash flows tend to exhibit high predictability over time. This is the bedrock upon which Enbridge has managed to increase its dividend annually for 29 consecutive years. It is the kind of stock you acquire if you seek energy exposure while minimizing your exposure to commodity risk. The yield stands at a hefty 7.3%. That said, the yield will probably constitute the lion's share of return over time. But that probably won't be an issue for dividend investors seeking to live off the dividends they collect from their portfolios. When you step back and survey the landscape, you can discern that Devon, Chevron, and Enbridge truly represent three distinct approaches to generating dividend income from the energy sector. There's nothing inherently wrong with any of the approaches taken per se, but they're vastly different. Nevertheless, Devon Energy isn't likely to be a suitable choice for investors who require a reliable income stream. Chevron and Enbridge are simply much better choices for that objective. In summation, while Devon Energy offers a variable dividend policy tied to its financial performance with dividends fluctuating based on volatile oil prices, Chevron provides a more stable dividend as an integrated energy major with a solid balance sheet and a track record of 37 consecutive years of annual dividend increases. Enbridge, on the other hand, is a midstream energy company focused on fee-based assets, offering a hefty 7.3% yield and 29 consecutive years of dividend growth, making it a compelling choice for investors seeking energy exposure with minimized commodity risk. With that being said, I wish you the best of luck, happy investing, and I will see you over in the next video.